Guys, today I'm at a local lake, community lake. It's about 40 to 50 acres in size. And what I'm gonna do is go to the spillway because the only way you can get to the spillway is to get out and walk up the dam. And most people will kind of overlook it. I wanna fish the main lake too, but we're gonna head to that spillway and see if we can get on something today. Hurricane Laura is on its way. It is one o'clock in the afternoon right now and starting at six o'clock we'll have several days of rain 100 percent rain tomorrow so this is pre-front conditions it's still real hot and humid but cloudy but i think these fish should be biting because of the hurricane coming let's see what happens guys Oh yeah, there we go. All right, I got something guys. It didn't take but one minute. It's nice, whatever it is. Big bass. Oh my, it's real big actually. I got a decent fish here, guys. I guess I picked the right crankbait. Oh my goodness, what is this? It could be a giant pickerel, but it's staying down, whatever it is. Oh my God. It's got me hung in some weeds. Oh, there he is. Oh man, what do I got? Oh, it's a big largemouth. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, my God. He's four. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. What a fish. Oh, my goodness. He's barely hooked, too. Right in the eye. Oh, my goodness, guys. What a bass. Whoo. Boy, he's not done, is he? Oh. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Wowzers! Boy, they are biting like crazy, guys. That hurricane. Look at that, all that weeds. I got a little extra bonus stuff there. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah, he's four pounds. I got him on a gold Berkeley Flicker Shad. It's more like a copper silver with a red bottom because it's overcast. My God, that's a hoss. He's easily 20 inches, guys. I am not kidding you. Wow. I am. It already made my day to come here. Already. And just got here. I haven't even been fishing five minutes. Oh, my God. This lake still has some fish in it. It's not that bad. <clears throat> what a hoss. My goodness gracious. And I got him hooked in a bad spot. He's gonna ruin, he already ruined my hooks. Guys, check this beast out. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna measure that might be longer than 20. I'm not kidding. He could be 21, 22 inches. We're going to get a measurement on this guy here. I got to. Oh my God. <clears throat> I'm going to have to measure it down by my feet. <clears throat> He's only 19 and a half. That is still a very big bass for here. Well, I know what lure I'm using. Very obvious. I'm gonna get a good photo of me here, of me holding this fish, guys. Wow. This already made my day and I just started. I still got four good hours before that rain comes. Yeah. 
Check out that hoss. Whoa. This is my biggest bass of the year. I do not have my scale with me, but he's an easy four pounds. Whoa. Oh my goodness. What a bass. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is a hoss. Oh my goodness. Boy, I can already tell they're biting today, guys. That pre-front, nothing beats a pre-front conditions. When you know it's getting ready to rain in six to 10 hours, go fishing. Especially when it hasn't for a long time. The winds are coming directly out of the south. Always the best fishing there is. I cannot overstate that enough. Let's get her back in. What a bass. Whew. My goodness. Guys, that made my day already. All right, pickerel, yes. All right, no, it's a largemouth. All right, second largemouth of the day. Guys, I haven't been really doing that great. I got that one in the second cast, and now I didn't get nothing for about two hours. I don't know what the deal is. Not as good as I thought it would be. I got him on the stop and go method, working that crankbait I've upgraded the depth I'm using a bandit 300 with a chartreuse shad this one goes 8 to 12 foot down and finally I got my second fish oh and he drew blood mm. he cut me bad gill plate he's a little guy about 10 11 inches All right. hey it is a fish though Thought I had me a pickerel anyway. Big largemouth, and this guy came in one foot of water. I cannot believe it. I'm up here fishing for pickerel out of the actual spring, and I can't believe this guy got on it. It's another big one. He's three pounds. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that was the last thing I expected. Up here, I mean, this is tiny up here very tiny a foot deep and full of weeds that get on your lure i had to switch to a swim bait just to keep the moss off at least to a minimum oh boy what a big and man that's two nice bass today i did not catch a lot of fish guys he's three and a half did not catch a lot of fish all right got him on the chartreuse missile swim bait my gosh wowzers whoa just check him out he's got some backbone now he is girthy is something wrong with him a little no he's all right my gosh another hoss it's not as big as my first one but i'm happy now i'm real happy i cannot believe that i caught him up here it is a spring though so it's coldest part of the lake I just didn't think they'd be sitting in there in this shallow of water. My gosh. That is nice. Look at that chunker. Guys, I may not have caught a lot of fish today, but I got two nice bass. 
was close to five pounds and this one's about three, three and a half, something like that. 17 inches, the other one was 19 and a half, almost 20 inches. Goodness gracious. Wow. That is just awesome. Made it worth coming anyway. <laughs> I cannot believe that he got on there like that in this shallow water. That is just absolutely nuts. I thought it was a pickerel when I seen him come out of the shadows. But when he hit it, I knew it was no longer a pickerel. I really doubt there's another one over there. If there was, they ain't going to be that dumb now. As much as I scared him. <laughs> 